Hey, this is Matt from Investiquant. Today is Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. And so far today, we've seen a fairly quiet day in the market where we lifted off of the open and we've kind of gone sideways after that first initial push higher. Uh, S&P still trading just a little bit above yesterday's close and above its open. NASDAQ holding up kind of in a similar pattern, whereas Russell and YM have been a little bit stronger intraday price action. But it's been a fairly quiet session uh, so far today. But uh, this afternoon, what I wanted to share with you is something that I think is really cool. And honestly, without this Discover platform, I would have never known about this. I would have never been able to figure this out on my own. But uh, this is a cool little study that I'm excited to share with you based upon tomorrow. Tomorrow being the non-farm payrolls report. So what I'm going to do is just show you what has happened historically as we approach the close ahead of the non-farm payrolls report, which will be out in the morning tomorrow. So let me go ahead and set this up uh, and discover. We'll look at all four instruments. I'm going to use an intraday time-based entry. I'm going to pick one of these entries uh, down towards the end of the day. Um, you know what? I normally do 3 o'clock. I'll do... 230. Let's do 245. I was going to pick 230, but I'll split the difference here. We'll do 245. I'm going to set it up as a long, and I'm going to make the exit end of day. So this will be getting out at the end of the regular trading hours. And then uh, what we're going to be looking at is in a bullish environment. So I'm defining that as above and above a 10 and above a 200-day simple moving average. And then I'm going to go into the market events section. And I'm going to say that tomorrow is the non-farm payrolls report. So I can go ahead and add that from active today. Click on that. And then I can click view results. All right, here we go. So these are the results of going long at 2.45 Eastern Time, exiting at the close, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, when you are above the 10 and the 200-day simple moving average, and tomorrow is the non-farm payrolls report. That's an 8.30 a.m. Pay payrolls report that'll be out in the morning. And historically, had you gone long at 2.45 p.m. Eastern Time, exiting at the close the day before that report. Uh, the S&P has 105 samples. The NASDAQ has 110 samples. The Dow, 108 samples. And the Russell, 94 samples. And those win rates on those are all north of 60%. So you got the S&P here at 60 even. You've got the NASDAQ stronger at 68% of these. Uh, the Dow, 61%, and the Russell, 62%. So all four instruments definitely favoring the long side historically ahead of that non-farm payrolls report uh, when you're entering here towards the end of the session as far as win rates go. So that these win rates are basically telling you that it is closing above that price uh, that you're entering at at that time. So the price at 2.45 p.m. Eastern time, this is saying 60% of these are closing above that at 4.15. Uh, NASDAQ, 68%. The others, you know, 61, 62%. And then if we look at average win, average loss on those, the average win a little bit bigger than the average loss for the S&P. That is also true for the NASDAQ. That is true for the Dow and true for the Russell. So all four of these have leaned to the long side historically with this pattern and they favor the win rates a little bit as well as the average win to average loss. So I thought that was a cool study. Definitely something I would have never had the ability to test without Discover. Uh, but you can see how quick and easy I was able to do that in here with just a couple clicks of the mouse. So uh, hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck the rest of the day and we will see you in the morning.